Last two questions. The lady over here. Right. Um, I've been told that women in Islam wear a veil because in this way men will treat them respectfully. Um, but I see the veil as a form of oppression because why should they have to cover themselves um, because of the weakness of men? Shouldn't they be treated with respect regardless? Could you please explain the veil and did Mary have to wear a veil? Madam, Madam, your Bible says, your Holy Bible says, you know, Paul, Paul, Paul is telling you that the woman must cover her head, that the woman who doesn't cover her, shave off her hair. Your Bible says that. The woman, the woman who bears her hair, says shave them off. Shave it off. That's what the Bible says. And you woman, the, your Bible says she must not be allowed to open her mouth in the church. But that's your churches, they don't believe all that. And your people don't believe in that. So you are inviting trouble. You know, because of this, in America, in New York, no woman is safe after dark. No woman is safe in France. During daytime, women have been raped in the street. And people just walk by, looking the fun. Say, oh, maybe they're enjoying themselves. Woman is being raped. No, no. I said, you are inviting it. Look, this modesty, the nuns, the nuns, you know, the nuns, Roman Catholic Church. Nobody gives them a second look. If Mary, the mother of Jesus, came along, you won't give her a second look. But my dear sisters, those women on your gold coast at Scarborough and all that with bikinis and tangas and G-strings, look. Sure. It's attracting, <laughs> look, even an old man like me, I tell you, my God. <laughs> if, if I went there, I tell you, I'll be burning inside. <laughs> I'm telling you, look, this is the nature of man. God made us like that. The thing that allures man more than anything on earthly existence is woman. Do you know that? I don't know. The Quran says, the Quran says, Zuyina linnasi hubbu shahwati minan nisa. Fear in the sight of men is the love of things they covet. Number one, minan nisa, women. Walbanin, then son. You know, I've got 11 sons. I can make my own football team. You know how, how the, you know, it makes me feel proud. I've got 11 sons, you know, my own football team, my own cricket team. Mm -hmm. Walbanin. And number three, well, anatir al mukantar de mina zahabi will fit da and hoarded heaps of gold and silver and wealthy land and horses branded for excellence and all this. This is the list that is given in the Quran. Number one, women. The Quran says, the thing that allures man most on this earthly existence is woman. And I'm telling my Western friends that I don't have to prove that to you. I don't have to convince you. I said, you see, in my country, in the city of Durban, city of Durban. I think we'll end with this. We'll end with this. Okay? We'll end with this. In the city of Durban, there is a firm called Lucian Motors. They sell second-hand trucks. You know, lorry, lorry, trucks. We call them trucks here too? Trucks. We call them trucks. And on the trucks that they advertise, there's a woman in the bikini on top of the truck. Then G North, they sell farm implements. And on the tractors that they advertise, there's a woman in the bikini on top of the tractor. I'm asking these Westerners, I said, what has a woman in the bikini got to do with a second-hand truck or with a tractor? <laughs> Except the man. You see, the woman is being dangled, so he'll read the adverts. And BMW, I don't know you have BMWs here. It's a motor car, it's a motor car supposed to be a little better than the Mercedes-Benz. I'm not in the market for it. You see, I started with the Volkswagen Beetle. I did 120,000 miles, and I had to change for another beetle, and another beetle, and another beetle. Then they stopped making the beetle, you know the Volkswagen beetle. They started the Golf, so I had to buy Golf number one, Golf number two. I'm still not in the market for a BMW, but I'm forced to read this advert. In my newspaper, I see a BMW motor car, and with a woman. In the skimpy, skimpiest of bikini, what do you call the tanga? You know the G-string. <laughs> she, she's standing in front of the motor car, 
and it's, it's written at the bottom, test drive her now. I am asking, I am asking, the woman of the car, the woman is buying the car, and her is underlined, test drive her now. I said, look, this is what you're leading yourself to. This is, the Westerner, he sells his mother, his wife, his daughter, his wife is a star, and she's been mangled on the screen, simulating rape, and they, they enjoy it. You, you enjoy your wife being simulated. It's not real rape. But you know, it's simulated, you can see everything about it. She's being raped, your mother, your wife, your daughter. And you enjoy, your wife is a star. So, sick, sick. No, Alhamdulillah, praise be to God, we haven't come to that sickness yet, we Muslims. We try, we try to keep away from it. This is your pleasure, your privilege. We have no right to force you. But we say, you are playing with fire, my child, and you're going to pay the price. You're paying the price now, and you will pay the price.